While Canada will be sending a formidable contingent of first-time Paralympians to Sochi, some of the most experienced and successful athletes at the Games will be wearing the Maple Leaf. It's time to check in with the veterans that are training here in Lake Louise, and as always, offer any tips or assistance that they may need, because that's what I do. I give. And here I am on the big trail with Brian McKeever and Eric Carlton. Hello, men. How are you? Doing great. How are you, Rick? Okay. Now, of course, you have you have a mitt full of gold medals, correct? That is correct. You are a visually impaired skier. That's uh, that's right. Blind man. Yes. And you you are his guide. Yeah. Now you and I we met up before four years ago on the eve of Vancouver. And some people suggested that maybe, Brian, you shouldn't be out goofing around on the trail with Mercer because it might blow your concentration. And what happened? What happened? Three gold. Three gold medals. <laughs> Aren't you happy I'm here? Thanks, yeah. Rick. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, last night, when we were in the pub, I noticed, not that you were drinking in the pub. Don't tell them we were in the no, pub. No, no, no. We were eating. We were eating. I noticed you were looking at your iPhone like this. And I thought, he told me he was blind. But you can see. Oh, I can see a little bit. Yes, and so the last time I skied with you, in order to simulate how it was to be a blind skier, you blindfolded me and I was completely blind, so this time I'm going with limited visual ability. Here we go. <laughs> Only fingers. <laughs> see? <laughs> now, how much can you actually see when you're out here on the trail, or in general? In general, I see a little less than, well, I guess between 5 and 10%. I can see all this stuff out here with peripheral vision, but it doesn't give a lot of detail. Can you go for a ski on your own? Uh, yes. So we're covered. You're in good hands. OK. We'll be back in a bit. All right, off we go. Why haven't you done biathlon? Because uh, I'm too blind to see the damn targets. Right, gotcha. <laughs> Is that a dumb question? No, there's blind biathlon. There you go, see? There is no such thing as a dumb question. Thank God. <laughs> So this is a bit of a hill with a turn. And I know for most people, or a lot of skiers, they wouldn't think that this is intimidating, but for me, I'm not much on hills and I'm not great at turning. So if someone is completely blind and there's a steep hill, how do they maneuver? Well, they're allowed to hold the pole of the guide. So they like they go down like this? In tandem. And Vladimir Putin knows about this? <laughs> nice work, Rick. There's got to be some better way than this. Do you like the uphills? Is the uphill a challenge? Uh, the uphill is, the uphill is where it's, the race is won. So yeah, now you've worked for it, you've earned the downhill. You go, I'll follow. Alrighty. Stop pow! All right. I think I'm going to try the sit ski now, because I can sit. <laughs> Good luck with that. Engage. She is a legend in cross-country sit-skiing, Colette Begonia. Hello, Colette. How are you? Hi, Rick. I'm great, thanks. You are a legend in sit-skiing. How many Paralympics have you actually attended? Well, this will be 10 in Sochi. How is that possible? Well, three summer and hopefully seven winter. OK, so you do the summer and the winter. Well, I did from 90. What do you do in the fall and the spring? <laughs> Polish your medals? <laughs> well, How many medals do you have? Uh, 10. This foot has to come and go underneath here, and oh, oh no. there you go. Like that? Oh, yeah, like that. Whoa, come back. <laughs> Is this it? Am uh, I sit skiing? No, nah, not yet. You're a school teacher, aren't you? I am. What <laughs> grades did you teach? I taught grade four and okay, grade Okay, so you're six. used to this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is a kneeler, engineered uh -huh. and designed in Saskatchewan. Oh, so, really? Yeah, This Saskatchewan. is a Saskatchewan invention? Yeah, it's awesome. Now I need my chariot. <laughs> you get your chariot. If you can get it going this way. Okay. Oh, good job. Yeah. See, this is the fun part. This is nice. Yeah. You might want to come left here, Rick. I'm getting a little close to the edge, am I? Yeah. That's the way I roll, Colette. Always on the edge. <laughs> okay. Okay, so in Sochi, who's your competition? Who's going down? No, oh, the Ukrainians, the Russians, the Norwegians. The Russians are a strong team? Oh, they're very strong. Yes. Plus, they have the added incentive of being jailed if they don't meddle. Yeah, probably. There you go. <laughs> I'm visualizing. Oh, Isn't that what all you athletes do? That's a big part of it. It's a sure. big part of it. Yeah. And I'm visualizing. OK. And I'm on a beach, and I have abs, <laughs> and my time. 
What are you, what are you visualizing? I'm visualizing fast hands up the hill. Okay. They didn't cover this at Good Life. <laughs> yeah. That's a little hill, Rick. No, it's good. <laughs> I'm naming my poles cruel and unusual. <laughs> That's fun. That's yes. fun going up the hills. <laughs> A lot of fun. There you go. You got it. That's pretty good. Oh, now see, this is nice. Yeah, this is great. I could do this. I'm surprised, but all this texting has really helped my upper body strength. <laughs> so I guess with sit skis, because everyone is differently able, they're constantly evolving. And once you use the sit ski, you might come up with something that would improve it. Great. Because I've been thinking about this, and I think I can improve this sucker. OK, call out you ready? Let her rip, Rick. Whoa! Does it go, go, go. Oh, look at that. Hey, it turns. That's awesome. <laughs> Little thing I brought from the cottage. Thanks for calling Hey, Rick, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for trying our Sitski out. Good luck in Sochi. Thanks so much.